The X app has a timeline feature that lets me explore my photography. Let's take a look at it. Tap on the timeline and I can see all the images from a recent trip I had to Washington DC. I got in late and wanted to take some nighttime photos. The map function allows me to go back and see where we were making these images. I can zoom in and look and we can see different areas around the National Mall where I stopped and took pictures. We can zoom in even farther and we can see more details about where the actual images were made. I went and made some pictures at the reflecting pool and of the Lincoln Memorial. After I got a little sleep, I went back out and made some more images around the tidal basin. You can see here on the map that it tracked my location. And after that, I went over to the Washington Monument and made some more pictures. You can see the arc I made while photographing the monument. I like having the GPS data with my photos. It helps me organize those images. And also with the GPS data, it's easy to see if I go back and revisit the same location over and over again, I can sort by that data in my pictures. I wanted to do a little bit more than touristy photos on my trip, so I hopped in the car and drove out to Great Falls. We can see that if I zoom out, I can then come over here and zoom back in. There's three main sections of waterfalls there that you cross on the path. You can see each of the three distinct locations here on the map. At the top of the timeline, we have an image from the day. We also can have descriptions in here, and so I've customized this one to be Washington, D.C. I then have the map, and then it gives me a camera history. It gave me the number of images I shot, how much video I shot that day, and how many images I transferred from my camera to my phone. It's very interesting to use this app to explore how many pictures I took and what lenses I used to do it. If I keep scrolling, you'll see here the camera I used and the different lenses I used. It's interesting to see also what film simulations I preferred. They're all listed here, and the number of rolls of film I shot with that particular simulation. What I really like about this is that it allows me to see the pictures that I transferred the other day. I can go through them here quickly and easily at the bottom. We can select one, we can look at it. I can even zoom in while I'm here. Remember, all these pictures are already in your camera roll and are easily shared. You'll notice there's a little pencil icon. This allows me to go in and make some notes about my day. This allows the timeline to become a visual journal of my photography. In our next video, we're gonna take a look at the activity view. And it's a great way to learn about the photographs you make.